Hey, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to Three Minutes or Less. Three Minutes or Less is where I give you the Dr. Boyce breakdown on important topics so you can get back to your day. Um, the ban on Louis Farrakhan by Facebook and Instagram uh, is something that a lot of people are talking about all around the world. Um, there's this huge shock that people are, that they've actually characterized Farrakhan as a right wing extremist in the Washington Post and some other outlets. And now, of course, once uh, they realized he wasn't a right wing extremist, so the people on the right wing complained about that. Of course, they started to characterize him as something else. And what confuses them is that, uh, you know, Farrakhan isn't loved by people on the right wing and people on the left wing. They hate him as well uh, because those in the far left, they they also uh, are pushing black leaders to disavow Farrakhan, to act like he doesn't exist, to say, I wish I had never had an association with him. But here's what they're finding that's really surprising them. What's surprising them is that when they ask people, uh, prominent black people, to disavow Farrakhan, a lot of them will not do it. Um, Farrakhan has a very strong relationship with a lot of uh, so-called mainstream African Americans. Uh, a lot of black people that talk to him that don't tell the public that they speak to him. Um, they ha he has an influence on on them. He's he's a lot like uh, what in, in in space they call dark energy. Dark energy is this energy and this energy force and this power that exists but you can't see it. It doesn't exist. I don't know if you guys know this, but 96% of all the uh, matter and energy in the universe actually is unobservable. I think it's 96%, maybe it's 80%. It's some big number like that. Well, Farrakhan's kind of dark energy in the black community in the sense that he influences a lot of people. He's connected to a lot of prominent black people. Uh, he's respected by millions of people. There are millions of people who can say he's impacted my life. There are millions of us who are affected by, uh, affected emotionally by the uh, Million Man March. Farrakhan has done things for communities that no one else cared about and Facebook is facing a backlash from the fact that they decided to ban Farrakhan and lump him in with Maya Yiannopoulos who uh, got you know who, who got dragged because he was uh, talking about having sex with 13 year old kids so the, you know the point here is to say that uh, as you notice uh, the first person the first prominent person to really stand up and speak out was Snoop Dogg who told 31 million of his followers to um, put Farrakhan videos up on their social media he, he, he threatened him he said ban me uh, we should boycott Facebook whatever uh, and I, and a lot of other celebrities are speaking up there are a lot of people that are changing their profile pics and, uh, and now Facebook is really sort of facing uh, this day of reckoning where their racism is really coming to the surface and I don't think this is a typical situation where it's just black people complaining oh we can ignore that you can't ignore the universe of black people and I think that they're going to find that out uh, but it'll be a matter of time let's see how it goes uh, but uh, anyway I, th that's it I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins please take care if you want to learn about economics and finance and things like that go to theblackbusinessschool.com you can actually get started for free. You're going to love it. It's ours. We own that. That's uh, part of your community. So take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Peace.